Hey friends, tonight we are checking into Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and we are going to be staying in the brand new DVC building. So that means we have one of the amazing Mary Poppins themed rooms and I am so excited. This is my first time seeing them in person and I cannot wait to give you guys the grand room and resort tour. And plus we have dining reservations at Citricals a little bit later on tonight. So we're going to have a beautiful Grand Floridian kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. Today is July 6, 2022, and the new rooms and the new DVC building opened up while I was on a vacation up in Pennsylvania. So this is my first time coming out and seeing it. And like I said, I'm so excited. I love Mary Poppins. Not only is it my first time staying in the new Mary Poppins rooms, but it's also going to be my first time eating at the new Citrico. So it's going to be a fun-filled day. We're going to actually head right on into the resort now and get all checked in. But I do want to point out, if you do plan on staying at the new DVC building and in, in the new Mary Poppins rooms, you're going to want to park and come in the main building. Because you know the, how the villas have their own check-in area? It is kind of quite a far distance away from that villa's check-in building. So it's, uh, it's better to come over here. I have to say, I'm not upset about that either. You know what I mean? Because like the villas at Grand Floridian are kind of like on the other side of the resort and away from everything and i do love the lobby over there i love the penguin fountain but the main lobby at the grand floridian is beautiful and walking in that is 10 times better seriously just look at this walking in hearing the piano music feeling that fresh cold air i love it in here i always kind of just get like giddy so basically all of the resort amenities is in this main building too. You have all the restaurants like Citrico's where we're going to be dining a little bit later on. And also that is Mary Poppins themed. And also when is 1900 Park Fair coming back? Like <laughs> I feel like every single Disney World, like Disney World Resort is either set to open or has opened. But nothing on 1900 Park Fair yet. I found a map and I want to show you guys what I was talking about with the location of the villas building uh, because like I can tell you about it but like if you see it on the map it is a big difference right here is the villas section and this is where Disney Vacation Club used to stay at and you would park right here and this is where the new building is down here so it's much easier to park right here and just walk in right there instead of parking all the way over here and then taking the long walk even though you do get to go on a beach. If you guys want to see some of my other videos uh, staying here at the Grand Floridian, I'll put some of the links in the description so you can check it out, including staying over at the Villas building and a couple of other ones. Because, like I said, I love staying here. It's one of my favorite resorts. Now that we're all checked in, we got our room number and we're going to head on over and check out the room. We're on the third floor and right there is the building and it's centrally located and you have the pool right here. So that's always a good thing. I never really spend a lot of time at this pool, even though I feel like this is the main pool. The other pool on that side is probably way better and that's closer to the villa side. Our room is on the third floor, like I said, and we have a lagoon view. I love lagoon views. I feel like looking out at the water or having a theme park view are the best. I don't like looking out at the pool. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes it's cool, but having that sunrise and being able to just stare out at nature, you can't beat that. Maybe because there is an approaching storm, but I don't see anybody in the pool. I hardly ever get to give you guys a look at the pool area because I don't want to film it if there's people actually in it. And there's nobody here. Look at First time seeing it. Now this side, this pool here, doesn't have any cool water slides over at the other pool does. But it's really awesome to be able to show you the pool. As soon as you walk in, it smells like new resort. Look at this. Very elegant. I should have worn my pink shirt today. I totally forgot. I like it though. I mean, it looks very, very nice. I like this little carpet in here and the furniture. You can tell a lot about a resort by the furniture in its lobby. Oh, and they have a separate little check-in area here. I don't know if anyone's stationed here right at the moment, but at least you know that they're offering it. It also looks like they have some really nice Mary Poppins artwork on the walls and I kind of want to test out the furniture down here. I mean, you got to test out the lobby furniture. Here's some of the Mary Poppins artwork and it looks really, really nice. And also they have the Magic Kingdom scavenger hunt that you can just come and grab and go enjoy. 
Look at that. I've done it before. It's actually a really fun scavenger hunt. And now I want to sit down on one of these fancy chairs. Also, I'm not even sure if I showed you guys upwards. Because you always got to look up. And we're going to be on the third floor. So one, two, three. Right where they are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and also, they don't have their pillows chained up like the contemporary resort does. Look at that. You're coming home with me. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> but at the contemporary on the monorail couch, they have the pillows actually like chained up to like something underneath it. But it's funny. This looks very comfortable. I feel like that scene in Borat where he thinks the elevator is his room. I could just stay here tonight. I'm all checked in. I'll put my clothes out, hang up stuff, and just lay down. This is nice. I will not change to a smaller room. <laughs> All right, let's head up to the third floor and find our room here. I think I have a piece of paper somewhere. Wow, look at these elevators. I thought this was carpet for a second. Carpet and elevators, very nice. Oh yeah, where's my room? Yeah. There we go, 9331. The hallways themselves are actually really pretty. Look at the walls. 9329, nine. so that means I think this is it. This is ours. This is our lucky room for today. 9331. Three, three, oh. Okay, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I came in, I turned on all the lights, and I got the room ready to show you, and I love it. Like <laughs> I am really, really impressed. I have seen a couple of pictures of this room online, but I gotta tell ya, it looks so much better in person. Everything is so bright and colorful, and it's just very elegant. Like, I really love this room. So we're gonna give you the grand tour, and I'm excited. Like, this is beautiful. Now this is a standard studio with two beds and like I said it's a lagoon view and I'll show you the view uh, at the end because you guys always know I love the view uh, from the patio but I am so impressed with the attention to detail in this room. As soon as you walk in the room you have this nice little area over here with this beautiful mirror and mural and then oh, I was wondering what was in this box because I was just like look at this random box but it's a hair dryer look at that very very fancy got a little pull out bench right here I like it a lot and then as you go in you can see all the different amazing furniture like look at this TV stand or the dresser it is very very nice I love the top here the couch pulls out you can see the Mary Poppins artwork that is beautiful that is stunning I wish we had something like that in Epcot because that would that would just be amazing and then we have the two beds right here, and I love the headboards, they are so nice. Come with four pillows, and then you get this nice little pillow here. Very, very nice. I'm gonna roll that right down there. And I like the feel of this. Oh yes, I like the lamps, and plenty of USB and outlets. Like, they have tons. Also, they have the little cell phone tables. I call that, like these, the little cell phone tables, because you can't have <laughs> something on the other side so you can just put your cell phone right here and charge your phone just like that very easy the couch is a pull out so that's some extra sleeping space right there but I also noticed this beautiful carpet on the floor look at this beautiful carpet and also I want to point out they got the very comfortable beds that uh, have nothing underneath them so you can use it for extra storage space or you can actually use it for extra sleeping space. Another thing I want to point out are all the penguins in the room. I think that is so awesome. There are tons of penguins everywhere. And I didn't look up any facts about this room or anything like that. So if you guys know anything, let me know in the comments because I'm just discovering it as I'm walking through showing you guys. And my eyes are like peeled and I'm like, ooh, ah, ooh. 
You might have noticed the penguins on the pillow when I was rolling it earlier. I don't even know why I want to roll this pillow on the bed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then if you take a look at the light fixture up here, they have a whole bunch of birds, but then one little penguin right here. Look at that little guy. These are so awesome. Obviously, there's lots of storage in here, especially underneath the beds, but look at these closets. You can actually use underneath the TV stand as some storage right there. And then look at these closets over here. Very, very fancy. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at that mirror. Well, I don't mind so. Oh, it's got lights on it. Oh, and bathrobes. Where's the little slippers though? My friend Jen would be looking for those slippers. We got extra pillows and blankets in there. They do dry cleaning. Very, very fancy. And then on this side, you got a little handheld steamer with a safe. And then plenty of shelves. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six. Six shelves and a little cubby up here. I wonder what goes on up there. Is that the attic? I wonder what's up there. I don't think I can get up there. I thought it would lead to Narnia or something, but there's no access. Right over here, you got the fancy kitchenette area. Got the Dan by microwave, a fancy new Keurig. Very, very nice. Ice bucket, glasses. Oh, ho, 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 we hit the jackpot. Oh, look at that. Why am I taking them out? Oh, no French vanilla creamer though. Man. No French vanilla creamer. And they have plastic plates and silverware. And I would assume that this is gonna be the fridge down here. Oh yeah, not stock though. Huh, it is one of the fancier new fridges though. I need my French vanilla creamer. Sometimes I get lucky, but this isn't even coffee made. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Maybe a fancier one. Glenview Farms. It's got its own holder. I mean, think about that. It's got its own holder. <laughs> I'm slacking on the fully stocked fridge, but I'm really impressed with the creamer holder. Like usually they're just like thrown in like a little dish or something like that. But like that was designed for those creamers. Like it was designed for them. Also, I want to point out that even the AC vents are pretty. Look at that. And I love this little archway that they have in here. And now we're going to make our way to the bathroom. It's got the sliding doors. I always love these sliding doors. I don't know why. I want them in my house one day. And it's got one of the brightest mirrors I think I've ever seen. Look at that. Super, super bright. Nice little kitchen, I mean kitchen area, bathroom area. Two sinks, two towels. One of these doodads. Woo! It's also got a little privacy door for the uh, toilet. Uncle Horrible will be proud. No privacy at all. I do actually appreciate the tile in here, the flooring. I think that is very nice. And the gold trim in the bathroom. Now they don't have the stand up showers, but they do have this very nice, like rain shower head. Oh, and they have this one too. Like these are very nice. And they have uh, H2O products that you can grab and go instead of locked up as they should be. But now, let's go check out the balcony. Let me know what you guys think of the room. Like me, I think it's beautiful. I really think it's elegant and it's clean and it's fresh. It's dated, not outdated, but dated. When you're making your way out to the uh, balcony, it kind of feels like you're on a cruise ship. Look at that. Well, the door doesn't slide too well, but it's still very nice. But look at that view. I love it. That's the uh, that's the uh, the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian right there. Holy moly! This is beautiful, and some of the rooms are actually have a theme park view where you can see fireworks. I think that's pretty amazing. I think this is beautiful, actually. I like it a lot. I most definitely will be enjoying a coffee out on this balcony. Like, it's so beautiful out right now, and we were supposed to have a rainstorm. It looks like it's gone away. No rainstorm today. The balcony furniture is some good furniture. Very sturdy, very comfortable. I like it. 
I'm gonna sit down. I have been lucky enough to stay at a lot of Disney resorts and I always just enjoy hanging out on the balcony, no matter where I'm at. Like the views are always beautiful. You get to look at monorails, other resorts. It's really something else. And you guys might remember, I used to do a lot of sunrises and sunset videos. And I used to come up with really catchy songs for that. I wanna start doing some more of those. I should bring them back, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, a, it's a little bit more of a time consuming thing. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful out right now. Watching the boats go by, oh, look at that. I really just love sitting out here. You get a good shot at the Polynesian bungalows. The Grand Floridian Wedding Chapel over there. This is nice. Maybe we'll go to the pool later. I did bring my swim shoot. I'm also very excited to try Citricals later on. Now I have dined at their lounge before, but I've never had any of the full menu. But now I'm just soaking this up. Really, really enjoying it. I feel like a lot of people come to the resorts um, basically just to stay on vacation. But like I come to the resorts just to relax and not even go into the parks most of the time. Sometimes I just like to stay here and just enjoy all of the amenities. It's so much fun. I noticed that they have the Disney on demand here. And one of the things I noticed is they have the MetaQuest over here. How cool is that? Oh, and Happily Ever After on demand. Like, okay, they have Happily Ever After on demand. Like, doesn't that tell you something? Like, they're not forgetting about it? Like, don't forget about Happily Ever After. Look at this. Just one click away. I think it's gonna work. Oh yeah. Bum, 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 bum. The volume wasn't up <laughs> as loud as I would have wanted it to be. <laughs> oh. Previously recorded. Why they have to say that? And they all lived happily ever after. They also have a room service. I would love to get room service, but like I said, we have Citricals to go to later on tonight, but you know, a little room service at the Grand Floridian definitely feel very bougie. Also, we didn't pull out the bed and I want to see what the pullout bed's like on the couch. I'm very happy they give you some guides here. Remove all items from the sofa, including pillows and ensure the area in front of the sofa is clear. That means you, big guy. This thing is not light at all. I gotta kind of wheel it out of the way. Come on. What would you do with this though? Like, <laughs> if you have this open, you can't just move this in and out each time. I wonder where you can store it. I'm not too sure if this is Disney being Disney and awesome, but it fits exactly underneath there. What do you guys think? Is that Disney paying attention to detail? Or do you think it's just a coincidence that it's like literally the perfect size? All right, looks like we're all clear. Pulling the strap now. Oh, Ethan Allen, fancy. Oh, wow. It's actually got some signature serviceness to it. The cutter was Patricia. Wow, this is very fancy. Inside upholstery, Samuel. Very, very cool. I like it. I mean, this is very nice. I wonder what, how it, I wonder if it's comfy. Right now it looks like a hospital girdy the way that it's set up like this, but I bet you it's very comfortable. I think Ethan Allen is a good way to go. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I like it. Now that we got the room tour done, I think we should go out and explore around the resort a little bit. I'll give you a little bit of a resort tour before our dinner reservations at Citrico's. Also, I like the door handles. Just saying. The door handles are fancy. I wish they had a key. How cool is that, you know? I do own a Grand Floridian key, like an actual old key for one of the rooms. Another really fun thing I would love to hear from you guys a little feedback Let me know in the comments if you guys have stayed here uh, Before like in this building before it was Disney Vacation Club And what do you guys think of the upgrades and the changes that they made with it? Like I always love hearing things like that. Let me know I've never stayed in this building before prior to DVC. So I'm kind of in, I'm, I'm intrigued 
Here is a look at some of the activities they got going on. Got a pool party from 315 to 415. White rabbits pocket watch hunt at the beach pool. That sounds like a little fun. They got campfire 615 to 715. Tide eyes, Disney button art, lawn games. The Grand Flow Glow Party. Look at this. G Flow Glow Party, 8 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Is today Wednesday? It is. I had to go ask what a glow party was because I was excited, but unfortunately, because of the uh, rainstorm that might be coming, I think they're gonna cancel it for the night. Real sad, I really wanted to go to a glow party. Also, I wanna point out how much I love like the grounds of the Grand Floridian itself. It is just so beautiful here. <laughs> the topiaries, some geese and swan, or geese, I don't know, swan? Stop staring at me, swan. I decided to run out to my car and grab my bathing suit because I think as long as the rain stays away, maybe I'll go swimming for a little bit. And also I changed out my hat because I'm going to hang out by the pool. So I got my hang out by the pool hat on. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film down by the pool because there's some people down there now. But here's my poolside fit check. Look at this. Doesn't it just feel like the summertime? And I love the Roosevelt. I love the Roosevelt Tux. It's like the perfect pool material and it's really awesome. And now we're gonna head down there. Just hanging out by the pool, got myself a little Bud Light. And I noticed they have private little cabana areas over here. Well, they're not cabanas, but they just look like very fancy seating. I'm sure it comes with top of the line like service, but it looks just very fancy. Like your private little own area here. Very nice. You know, I never thought I'd be sitting in the hot tub at the Grand Floridian drinking a Bud Light, enjoying myself, and there's nobody here. Look at it. I got the whole hot tub to myself. It's a big hot tub, too. I like it. Very fancy. Bud Light, keeping it classy. Post Malone would be proud. It's also an adult-only uh, hot tub, I think. I don't know, it says a sign over there says, oh no, the children have to be supervised. I know over at Beach Club, they have an adult only uh, hot tub. They have like a couple of them and one of them is like just for adults. It's still daylight out too. I'm excited for dinner tonight. Now that we spent some quality time down at the pool, I think it's time to head back up the room, get changed and uh, head to sit your girls for some din din, for some very fancy dining. When I first got to the resort today to start my little staycation, the clouds were very dark and I was worried that I was gonna have like a very rainy day, but it actually is beautiful out now. Maybe we might have time after uh, we have dinner to watch uh, the fireworks, Disney's Enchantment. I mean, uh, we have some pretty good viewing locations over here. We are all changed up and switched back to our regular clothes and it's time to head to Citricos like I said and I'm excited like this is a signature dining restaurant and it's one that I haven't been to since they changed the menu so new food. Citricos is right next to Victoria Alberts and I wasn't able to get a reservation for Victoria Alberts but once I am able to I'm definitely going to come out and check it out because that's a restaurant I have never eaten at. There are only maybe two or three restaurants on property I haven't eaten at yet and that is one of them and I think they have a menu over here at Citricos so I can show you guys what they have. Here is a look at the menu that they have out front. For first course, they have strawberry salad, they have the Citrigo's house salad, sweet corn bisque, wild mushroom, smoked duck breast. Oh, I, they also have the pork belly. I've had the pork belly before. Like I said, I tried some things from the lounge area, but never the full like dining experience. And then down here, they have uh, the tile fish, they have the short ribs, they have some mahi-mahi, homemade rigatoni, and then the oak grill, 12 ounce prime New York strip which is kind of calling my name. They also have an oak grilled fil uh, uh, filet but I'm not too sure. I might want the New York strip. We'll see once we get in there. One of the things I'm definitely going to be trying is the sweet corn bisque because the presentation for that is amazing. I've seen other people order it before and I was like wow I need to get that so that is definitely on the menu for tonight. The restaurant itself looks very beautiful and elegant and they actually have an open kitchen layout so you can see the chefs prepare your food and I love that. I always love watching the team work in the back there. They are definitely masters of their craft. 
We have arrived at our table and look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? We're gonna be able to watch the sunset a little bit. Well, it's gonna get dark in here very quick. There are a lot of really cool Mary Poppins references inside the restaurant itself. I will show you those a little bit later on, maybe after we eat because they are really cool. I decided on going with the 12 ounce prime New York strip steak and I substitute the Brussels sprouts for the broccolini because I hear the Brussels sprouts are pretty amazing. And then I was also thinking about getting one of these zero proof cocktails. They have an old fashioned orange soda float or a London dry juniper seltzer. That sounds actually really good. Sounds like special. Oh, there's a special bread in there. Oh, I like it. and Oh, ciabatta, very nice. Thank you. Oh. You want a slice right here? Yes, absolutely. Oh, this is the the uh, sweet corn bisque. The sweet corn bisque, and you put it in a little teapot. It's got that popcorn pickling fennel, oil. Wow. That looks so amazing right now. I am so excited for this. Thank you. Did you just see that? That was probably, hands down, the best soup presentation I think I've ever seen in my life. You can see the popcorn in there. I am so excited to dive into this. And we also got a nice little bread service and I'm sure I'm gonna be using this bread to dip into my soup. But first I need to try the soup just on its own. All right, here we go with the soup. Wow, that is so good. If you love corn, it's very sweet. Very, very sweet, but very delicious. Now we're gonna grab a little of that bread. Look at that. I think I would come just with this soup. Like the soup is on point. And you don't have to get a dining reservation. You can actually get it at the lounge, like outside here. But that, oh. Eating the soup with the bread is really good, but if you can get some extra popcorn, I suggest that because the popcorn really makes it amazing. It's gonna be pretty hard to top that soup, but I have high expectations for the New York Strip. I talked to a couple people on the way in and everyone kind of all agrees that Citricose does it right. So I am very excited. The steak has arrived and I am in love. Look at that. I asked for them to char it up a little bit for me. This looks perfect. Honestly, perfect. And I subbed out the Brussels sprouts for the broccolini. I am so excited. It smells amazing. Like, I have high, high expectations for this steak. It has been a while since anything has changed my top three steaks at Disney property. I'm wondering, is there a way this might make the top three. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna cut into it a little bit here. Now, I'm a big ribeye fan. Uh, I like ribeyes a lot more than I like New York strips. So that's gonna be tough on its own already. But here we go. We're giving it a go. Oh boy. They are not playing here. That is delicious. That is amazing. We're gonna have to think about it. I'm not too sure if it's gonna break my top three, but it might be in my top five. I'm gonna have to process it. I'm gonna have to eat a little bit more, but now I wanna try a little bit of the Brussels sprouts. I love that oak grill. These can really taste it in there. I'm loving this meal. Seriously though, I have to say kudos to the chef because this is a perfectly cooked steak. Look at that. I got, they added the char to it. A nice cool pink center. I'm loving it. And I'm just soaking up all of this. That's how you do it. We're gonna have to see what they got for dessert too. It didn't even stand a chance. And let me tell you something. I'm even going another level. I'm taking the bread and soaking all that up. Look at that. That's the way. For dessert, I think I'm gonna get the apple rose. That looks really, really fancy. They kind of make an, a rose out of apples, seasonal apples. And I don't know, I'm kind of in the mood for that. So I think that would be a good idea. Raspberry sugar on the plate. Thank you. 
<laughs> That's all apples there, isn't it? Marzipan. Marzipan. Wow. And then you have a very nice raspberry sugar. Oh. And your frozen coconut milk. Very cool. Well, thank you. Some frozen coconut milk. Doesn't that look so beautiful? That's apples. It is so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. I don't even want to. I don't want to cut into it. I don't want to eat it. It has to be done, though. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> oh, there we go. And now we gotta grab some of the frozen coconut milk. I don't want that big bite. I'm gonna cut it again. I'm gonna cut it again. There we go. Here we go. It is a very good dessert. It's not too sweet. And honestly, I think the thing that sells it the most is the presentation. The presentation is everything with this, but I like it. I'm glad I got to try it. If you're looking for like an apple pie, like an apple apple pie, this isn't it. I mean, it is like, like I said, very delicious, but it's not apple pie. Dinner was amazing. That steak was phenomenal. I want to say I'm going to put it in my top five. Like it was very good. And the way they cooked it and perfected it, like outstanding. The only thing is, like I said, I love ribeyes. My top three is all ribeyes. Flying fish is up there because that is amazing. But uh, overall, just eating here was a great experience. I really enjoyed it a lot. And now I'm going to show you some of the Mary Poppins Easter eggs inside the restaurant. Inside the restaurant, you can see Mary Poppins hat and her bag hanging. Look at that. That is so nifty. And this room is like super nifty too. It's like a special private VIP room in there. Very nice. Also, I wanted to point out that all the chandeliers look like upside down umbrellas. That's a cool Mary Poppins touch as well. You can actually see back there, that's where they cook the steaks on. That's the oak grilled right there. Look at that. Oh man, I could smell it from here. It's amazing. I kind of rushed that a little bit because uh, Disney's enchantment starts like right now. So we're going to run down and see if we can catch a little bit of it. Lots of people are coming down to watch the fireworks. This is actually a really good spot down here by the Grand Floridian water. <laughs> And with that, now we are back up in the room. The firework viewing from the Grand Floridian is actually really pretty. And it's hard to find a seat down there though because everyone comes out and they're all waiting. It's got like that straight on shot to the castle. And it's very nice. I remember I brought my mom and we watched fireworks there a long time ago and she loved it. And yeah, Citrico's was amazing. Very, very good food. I love the new restaurant, the new menu, the Mary Poppins. Today's been a Mary Poppins fun filled day. The room in here is amazing. It's very clean, very bright. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna call it a night. Hit the sack, go to bed, watch some resort TV, and just relax and enjoy the night, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the room in here. What do you guys think? Like, do you like the upgrades that they did? Like, what do you think? And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Good night.